Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the long-awaited DA-50 RG is introduced, Jack Bally passes away, and Rudder Vader repair approval gives hope to the Bonanza community. Happy Friday and thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Diamond has taken the wraps off the much-anticipated carbon fiber DA-50RG with retractable gear. The airplane sports an extra-large cabin, excellent payload, and is powered by a 300-horsepower Continental CD300 jet fuel engine. The DA-50RG spoils both pilots and passengers with generous front seats with adjustable back rests. A 60-40 split folding three-seat second row bench and easy access through the large gold wing and cargo doors. And the luxury features don't stop there. The aircraft boasts premium interiors in several styles, LED interior lighting, and optional features such as removable right-hand control stick, oxygen system, electric air conditioning, and many more. The all-carbon composite airframe incorporates advanced aerodynamics with the latest and passive safety technology. EASA type certification is well on its way for late summer, and FAA certification will start right after, and is expected at the end of 2021. The first deliveries of the DA-50RG are expected by the end of quarter one in 2021. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as five hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Matarmaps.com unveiled USA 3 panel, their latest addition to their portfolio of distinctive aviation wall maps, which displays current weather at almost 600 airports. Weather information is individually presented for each airport using the four standard FAA flight category colors. The three panels together span three feet tall and five feet wide and are covered with an eighth of an inch of no glare plexiglass. On Wednesday, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine announced the agency's headquarters in Washington, D.C. will be named Mary W. Jackson after NASA's first African-American female engineer. Jackson started her NASA career in the segregated West Area Computing Unit of the agency's Langley Research Center in 1958 and became known as one of the human computers. For nearly two decades during her career, she authored or co-authored numerous research reports, mostly focused on the behavior of the boundary layer of air around airplanes, and led programs influencing the hiring and promotion of women in NASA. Due to restrictions around the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 Aerospace Valley Air Show has been morphed into a hybrid event, with some aspects being virtual as opposed to hosting a traditional air show. 412th Test Wing Commander Brigadier General Matthew Heyer explained what this entails during a live stream town hall. The air show planning team is going to put together a hybrid event where we'll have airplanes in the sky over the Antelope Valley, uh, potentially uh, so we'll certainly have some and maybe a lot of YouTube hits you can, you can hit on, maybe uh, 360 views of the airplanes. Uh, we'll I'll try to uh, live cast the parade on, on that Friday. Uh, we'll probably have a few fly events before that on days and a couple fly events afterwards. And then after the fact, certainly set up a, a couple live streams with the folks that were on the airplanes uh, so you can do real-time Q&As. Ed Bolin, president and CEO of the NBAA recently wrote a letter in response to a Forbes article titled, Pets of the Super Rich Take to the Skies as Private Jets Rebound, which criticized the rich using their private jets as a way to escape coronavirus lockdowns and to do frivolous things, 
such as fly their pets around the world. In his letter, Bolin calls the article a fact-starved account, which misstated what business aviation even is. Bolin also pointed out the more than a million jobs business aviation creates, the billions of dollars it contributes to the economy, and the efforts taken by many in business aviation to help communities in need during the pandemic. Bolin's letter is posted onto the NBAA's website if you would like to read it in full. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Jack Bally, an Army veteran, retired carpenter, and the creator and builder of the Bally Bomber, a one-third scale B-17 bomber, passed away last Sunday at the age of 79. Drank too much beer one night with a bunch of buddies. <laughs> we went through the list and there's P-51s out there, you know, miniature ones, and there's P-38 twin engine ones, and, but there ain't no four engine ones. Originally, it was going to build a B-24, but it wouldn't work out. The same size as a B-17, but it's different designs. The 24 wouldn't scale out right. Uh, it had a different wing and not enough square foot where the 17 actually would scale and still not need to be changed. The aircraft took nearly 20 years to complete and has a wingspan of 34 feet 7 inches and is 25 feet long. It's powered by four Hearth engines rated at 45 horsepower and cruises at 110 knots and stalls at about 50 knots. In 2018, Bally received a Lindy Award for the construction of the Bally Bomber from the EAA. Memorials for Bally can be directed to the American Heart Association. For the longest time, damage and cracks occurring to a Bonanza V-tail rudder Vader meant an extensive search for parts or salvage assemblies to get the airplane flying again. Now SRS Aviation, already well known for offering parts and support for a whole flock of airplanes, is taking a big step towards dealing with this issue as they now have some authority to deal with these common problems. The repair program is shop specific to SRS, meaning it's an FAA approved special repair process attached to their FAA approved repair station certificate. Currently, SRS can fix skin cracks emanating from the three torque fitting holes, skin cracks emanating from the hinge area, skin corrosion at the trailing edge and around three hinge screws, and skin trailing edge crack. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you Monday.